What's up y'all, Wallamoose here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create landing pages for free and without website hosting. But before I get into it, I post here on YouTube every week with content geared towards the digital entrepreneur, so if that's you or if you're interested in that, please subscribe, I'd love to have you along for the ride. But without further ado, let's jump in here and we can get started. Alrighty, so we're here in MailChimp, and I think that MailChimp is the best platform to create landing pages on, one, because it's free, and two, because it's user intuitive and there's a lot of templates for you to choose from. But most importantly, it's free, so if you don't have a MailChimp account, you can find a link in the description below to sign up for yourself and meet me here in the dashboard. So here's a little glimpse at the final product of what we're gonna create today. This is a landing page that I created for an ebook that I was giving away at a conference I sponsored for my coffee company. It's just got a simple call to action right here with an email form and then some information about me and my products with a call to action again for my website. So pretty simple, but you can create it all within MailChimp and it's hosted within MailChimp so you don't have to have a separate website, which I really appreciate. So before we create a landing page, you're gonna to wanna to set up an audience if you haven't already. So we're gonna go here on the left-hand side to audiences, expand it and hit audience dashboard. If you don't already have an audience, it should prompt you to create one here. Uh, but if you already have one, you wanna create another one, just go to manage audiences, view audiences, and you can create one right here. With the free account, you can only create one set of audiences, but I feel like that's okay for me. It's really just up to you what you prefer. But now once we have our audience, we can create our landing page. So again, on the left-hand side, we're gonna to go to create and it will prompt you with a few options. We're obviously gonna choose the landing page one, so click on this and we can proceed. Feel free to name your landing page whatever you want, but make sure that your audience that you just created is selected. So I've only got one, Vanilla Moose Coffee, uh, selected it and we can begin. Now MailChimp is very user-friendly, like I said before, and they have a lot of templates to help you get started if you're not too design savvy. So for the free account there, it looks like eight or nine different templates for you to choose from. If you have the pro account, I'm sure there's a lot more. So we've got some right here, some very blank ones, some very simple ones. This one's just got your logo and a simple email call to action. Some have more in-depth details. So think about your niche and your desired goal for your landing page and go from there. This one right here, this lead generation one is the one I chose for this example that I showed you earlier. So it's what I'm gonna use again. And when you click on the template, it will pull you up to their design dashboard. Now there's already some widgets in place where you can click on it and edit text. So whenever you click on the widget, it'll change the right hand side to whatever widget you clicked on. Uh, feel free to change the text, your headings, add your logo for your business up here, all with the click of a button. And then since you selected your audiences earlier, whenever people put their information in this landing page, it'll automatically be sent to the audience you created earlier. And then if we scroll down a little bit, there's just more information. You can uh, let people know about your business and add whatever social handles you want down here. Now, let's say you like the template, but you wanna add a bit more information. Let me just move my face over here. Um, when you're on a widget, just hit save and close, and it will pull up this, um, they're called blocks, where you can drag and drop new content widgets. So let's say, yeah, the template's good, but I wanna add some images of my products, just make it more enticing for people to click on it. So you can drag whatever blocks you want into the landing page design, and as you can see, you can really customize it um, to really fit your needs. So save and close again. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do, promo codes, videos, products, buttons, and even with the free account, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with it. Now, once you have your content in place, we can go over here to style on the right hand side, click on that, and you can really fine tune it to meet your branding. So you can choose the background colors if you have specific brand styles for your content. You can add information to the footer, again, change the color. So what that looks like in context is down here, um, I just have my brand color with my brand logo, and you can really make it your own. So once you've created that, we're just gonna hit save and close. And this is where we put all our information in for like metadata and keeping yourself organized with all your different campaigns. So it'll take you this where it's not live yet, but once you finish this, you can publish it and then it will be live for you to capture emails. So the first thing is changing the page title and icon. So whenever you're in a browser, those little tabs up top, you can change your company logo. Right now default, it's just the MailChimp logo. But if you hit edit icon and title, you can upload an image and actually customize it with your own logo. 
Next, you can check out the social previews and change some metadata. So if you're sharing this on Facebook, you can add an image so it looks nicer and not just a link on Facebook. And finally, you can change the URL. So the URL of your landing page, it's going to start with mailchi.mp and then forward slash whatever and then forward slash your name. So you can edit this URL to make it look nicer maybe add your business name, whatever you want, or you can even connect a custom domain. So if you really want a high sense of reputability, um, connect your domain and you can have it actually landing page on your website. But if you don't have a website, don't worry, you can just use this MailChimp domain and you don't have to worry about hosting. And then double check, make sure the audience is going to the right place and your content looks good and you can hit publish up here and it is live. So after you publish, you can hit this hyperlink and it will take you to the actual landing page of your content and so people can actually put their emails in and you can capture them. So this is the easiest way I have found to create landing pages without hosting. Uh, it's very user friendly, it's very customizable. So if you're new to it and you want something, a simple solution, this uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it's your best bet for creating a good looking landing page. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for y'all. Oh, I just realized I forgot to turn my lights on. So hopefully my face wasn't too dark uh, but I appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.